Hey, let's make a cool electronics project with walnuts. You're gonna love this. Let's go. Before doing anything, I want to make small holes on both shelves. I'm putting four small but very strong magnets inside the holes. I've already done the same thing with the other shell. Let's test it out. It sticks together really well. Now it's time to make a bigger hole on both shells. I'll use this hole later. All right. Let's jump into the next step. I think this spot is perfect for the USB-C port. I'm placing the port in its spot and gluing it down. I'm lining up nine tiny batteries to make the most out of the space inside the walnut shell, and I'm connecting them in parallel. This way, it still outputs 3.7 volts, but the battery capacity becomes nine times larger. This is the smallest battery level indicator module, and I'm attaching a tiny switch to it. Then I'm connecting the module to the battery so I can check the battery charge level anytime. Four LEDs on means the battery is fully charged. This is a lithium battery charging module, and as usual, I need to remove all the components from the board and assemble them in a compact way so they can fit inside the walnut shell. I need to carefully solder all the components and the wiring between them so the module will work properly without any issues in the end. The final step is connecting the LEDs so the assembly will be complete. And that's it, the assembly is done. Now it's ready to go inside the walnut shell and I can finish the wiring. I'm connecting the module's input to the USB-C port and the battery to the charging module, but you have to be really careful. I wasn't, and I almost messed everything up. I'm making a small hole so you can see the LEDs while it's charging. Now let's test it to make sure everything is working fine. And yes, everything works perfectly. This is a small switch, and I'm going to connect it to the output of the charging module so I can turn the output voltage on and off. This is a tiny camera that sends video wirelessly. First, I need to remove the antenna. Then I'm soldering this pogo pin to the camera board. We'll need it later. And now it's time to connect the camera to the output of the charging module and finally secure the camera inside the walnut shell. All right, let's test it now and see if everything is working properly or not. I'm using some impression material inside the walnut shell to see exactly where the pogo pin touches when it's closed. Then I place this tiny circuit board so the pogo pin connects to it when the walnut shell is closed. And I'm attaching these metal plates to the board so they act as the antenna. All done. Now the fun part, let's test it out. We just need a receiver that connects to the phone and receives the camera's video. I've already connected the receiver to my phone before. As you can see, the video quality is really good. There's only slight video noise when the camera moves, which is expected. 
I hope you enjoyed this project and thanks for watching till the end. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.